Singapore's biggest public health care cluster, SingHealth, has received a $40 million donation for medical research and building up talent. It's the first gift to health care from Nian Development, a subsidiary of the Nian Kongsi Charitable Foundation, and also its largest donation ever. Elizabeth Neo with more. The patient has no blood pressure. Can someone check the pulse? Start CPR, please. Okay, the patient's pulse is back. We can stop the CPR now. This is a simulated tumor removal surgery done on a patient who later experiences a complication. It's performed by a full team, including an anesthetist, a surgeon, and a scrub nurse, just like in an actual surgery. Now, this is the kind of interprofessional education that the fund will support that allows for different healthcare professionals to come together and train. Such training doesn't come cheap, but is essential in giving healthcare professionals a near realistic experience. $15 million of the donation by Nian Development will go into such training and other medical education initiatives. Sing Health trains over a thousand medical, nursing, and allied health students daily. Another $15 million will go into research in areas such as aging and population health with the help of artificial intelligence, big data, and precision medicine. These new areas uh, are emerging uh, globally and are quite important for Singapore's healthcare in the future. So we really need to invest in these uh, areas. Uh, so some new areas, for example, will be looking at uh, uh, like uh, technologies such, such, such as simulation uh, as well as uh, virtual reality. Nian Development has supported various education and welfare causes. By 2030, 25% uh, of our population will be above 65 years old, uh, which is quite significant. Um, and coupled with uh, uh, population growth that is um, going backwards, uh, not growing, so uh, we do recognize that we do need more innovative and more careful um, use of uh, medicine to, to ensure that our aged population are uh, taken care of. Singh Health says the balance of the fund will be used on conferences and workshops. It hosts about 150 such events annually.